Hey guys, in this tutorial I will be showing how to set up and download the files needed to boot Backtrack 5 in VMware. The outcome will look just like this. Please remember that VMware only supports USB Wi-Fi cards, so make sure you have one. If you have an internal Wi-Fi card, you will need to boot Backtrack 5 from a USB or a DVD. Check out our site skidhacker.com forward slash store where you can purchase already made Backtrack 5 USBs as well as compatible Wi-Fi cards. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, first we'll need to download VMware Workstation. So let's go to VMware.com, where we're going to click on the top Products. And from here we're going to look for VMware Workstation. There we go. Okay, so scroll down a little bit, and then you'll see on the side where it says to try VMware Workstation. In order to download VMware Workstation, VMware makes you register. I already registered, so I'm just going to enter my information. But you can just register on the top and then just log in and proceed. Okay, log in. Continue. Okay, now I'm going to download the VMware Workstation for Windows. And I'm going to use a direct download through the internet browser. Okay, as you can see, it's downloading right now. Once it's finished downloading, you'll find an installer file on your desktop or wherever your download location is. Just double click it. Just follow the steps to install it. It shouldn't take that long. Next, we're going to need to download the Backtrack 5 ISO image. So let's go to backtrack-linux.org forward slash downloads and then let's click download now we're going to select the 32-bit and then the ISO image and then you can either do the direct or torrent download I'm going to do a direct one okay now if you wait a couple seconds it should start automatically downloading there you go Now make sure when it's fully finished download that it's the correct size. Right click it and click properties. And make sure that it's this size, 1.9 gigabytes. Otherwise you're probably going to be missing some files. Okay, so let's double click the VMware icon once you've already installed it. Now you can click file, new, virtual machine. Typical, click next. And select, I will install the operating system later. Click next, now click Linux and select other 2.6x kernel, click next and now name it Backtrack 5 and click next click next and customize hardware right now okay so let's give it some more space and we're going to remove the floppy disk and here's where we're going to put the ISO image click ISO image, browse search for the ISO image wherever you saved it to and click open and click OK and click finish OK now we're just going to hit the green play button and Backtrack is going to start loading up OK click into it and now click enter now there's a bunch of different options. I click the first one, the default one. This could take about a minute to load up fully. Okay, now we're going to type in startx. Okay, now here is Backtrack 5 loaded in VMware. Okay, now I'm just going to show you a couple cool things. Like you can make it full screen, you want to adjust the size of the actual Backtrack 5. Click the top and click on System. 
preferences monitor and select your monitor size mine in this case is this one click apply and as you can see it fills the whole screen okay now I'm going to show you how you would actually use a USB Wi-Fi card so let's zoom out a little bit of this okay the bottom right corner you can see a couple of icons you need to see one that has your actual Wi-Fi card I didn't plug mine in yet I'm plugging it in right now give it a second and there you go another one just popped up now only if it's dark blue doesn't mean it's active so let's right click it there we go and click connect and as you can see it turned blue and started blinking now it's actually able to be used Okay. Now, some people also would want to use a flash drive or an external hard drive. So let's plug that in and see what happens. There you go. Now let's right click that icon. USB master device. Click connect. And there you go. On my desktop just popped up the name of my flash drive. And we could just easily disconnect them so they could be used back in Windows. This concludes my tutorial on installing VMware and running Backtrack through VMware. Check out our site, skidhacker.com. Enjoy!